All right, welcome back to Two Hours in a Trench Coat. I'm in Hearts Three, and today we are back in Dragon Age Two. Last time we finished our companion quest, so we have Isabella and we have Fenris. That means we have all of the companions from Dragon Age Two that we could possibly get from the base game. So now that's done. We have companion quests from each of them. I'm pretty sure. So we have to talk to Anders, we have to go see Meryl again, there's Isabella, and there's Fenners. I'm pretty sure we finished everyone's, and then Varric is specifically tied to the um, main plot at the moment. So with the whole, the Deep Roads expedition, so he's kind of tied to that. So I haven't seen a companion quest for him, maybe he'll have one later on, but for what I can remember... He didn't have one, so there's that. Um, shoot, not that. So today, we're going to try and take care of the secondary stuff. So the secondary stuff is just like secondary plot stuff. Because we have our rumors, we have our main plot. Our rumors won't get activated until we complete certain quests. We have our main plot, which is just the main plot of the game. And that can get advanced by doing extra stuff. So that's what we're kind of doing now. We'll do Act of Mercy and Black Powder Promise in a later video. I think once we get closer to like going towards the Deep Birds Expedition. Which I feel like is going to be pretty soon. Uh, we have our companion quests, which are for our companions. And those are happening a lot more frequently than Dragon Age Origins. It's just kind of like, companion quest, companion quest, companion quest. It's just, I'm being showered with companion quests. And it's not, it's not something I'm used to. And then there's the secondary plot, which I've already talked about. The secondary plot is just kind of like side quests, kind of. So we have Loose Ends, The Bone Pit, and Unbidden Rescue. I'm not doing Loose Ends until later. Because that's Mirren. And I'm just... Like, Marin, you keep throwing these quests at me, and that's going to stop me from wanting to talk to you. Yeah, we'll just continue on what we were doing. We'll just do Bone Pit, and then if we have time, we'll do Unbidden Rescue. Um, I need to talk to Sen I need to talk to Braun about the Viscount's son in order to, I think, continue on with the quest. I don't want to jumpstart anything. I think I have to come back to Hightown. So Unbidden Rescue starts in Hightown. So that's where I am at currently. So I want, I think I should probably, like I'll probably be coming back and then I'll go to the keep and then head back out. So I think that sounds good to me. There are a few people, Magistrate, Vanard, and Michael from that person. That one. Not what I expected. From a mage, you mean? I didn't say that. How else would you judge me? What else am I a shining example of? I don't know. Other Fereldans lurking in Darktown? Mage or not? You... have a fair point. Mm-mm-mm. These two. Um, hold on, let me figure out how to get up to where this guy is. Okay, close to my there's a road leading to High Town Square and then I can head up near Robes by Jean Luc. And then Hubert. We need to talk to Hubert. Not up there, not up there, not up there. Right. Yeah, I'm Waypoint. It's cause only because this map is it's bigger than I'm used to currently. Especially without a waypoint marker. So I would kindly appreciate a waypoint marker if I could have one. Ah, here he is. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. 
Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The Bone Pit must be dangerous, if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The Bone Pit is mostly harmless. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. All right. We seem to have a help wanted. Citizens of Kirkwall, my dear wife Nanette has gone missing. I shall reward the person who returns her safely. Questions about the bounty or Nanette? Come speak to me in Hightown Market. Ghislaine de Carac. It's funny that the first name didn't trip me up, but the last name is. I'm pretty sure I've seen Ghislaine a name before. Okay, but we have another mission on our hands, but we will keep moving. What is that on the corner of my map? The first sacrament. Yeah, we'll talk to Ghislaine later. Leaving the area. The bone pit in Sundermount, isn't it? Yeah, kind of figured as much. So we have two other things in. We have the Black Powder Promise on the Wounded Coast, and we have Act of Mercy, which we still need to do. Someone said that was time sensitive. Or it's not time sensitive? Or the person that sent me the note was said it was time sensitive? Either way, I haven't received a notice saying quest complete. So, I'm gonna say it's not. Let's head over to the bone pit. Mm hmm. All right, Cubit's let's miners see. must be a desperate lot to work here. And all right, it's not a very hospitable place. All right, there's an opal fragment by rubble. Oh my gosh! Are you serious? My inventory is completely full. My inventory is completely full. Okay, so rain check. Rain check. Rain check if the game will allow. I'm going back to Hightown and I'm selling my stuff. <laughs> because I didn't know that I didn't have a close to empty... Oh, man. I didn't think I was carrying that much and then boom. Inventory full. Let's go sell our st I think we can sell our stuff to Vincento. Bring it to Darktown and I'll get you a salve or something. What? No. I need to know some things about mages. Why? I'm a guard. I'm the first person who has to deal with... trouble. You want help killing people like me? Not every mage can be trusted. Nor every guard. So, you married a Templar, huh? What of it? Are they all as dirty as they seem? What? Did he ever ask you to play the naughty mage and the hapless recruit? Maybe the secret desire demon and the upstanding knight? That's disgusting. I hear it's quite popular. Dear heaven. Can you just ask her about her dead husband? Anders, that's so freaking rude. Yeah, if you can't treat each other nicely, then we're not having this. I'm gonna turn this party around. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, now we have, like, 
five things in our pocket. <laughs> so let's get moving. I need to figure out how to get a, um, a bigger backpack. I hope it's not a, you have to progress further into the story type of thing, because that would be very upsetting. Okay, now we're back. Now we can loot. Opal fragment in a pile of rubble right near the entrance. I'm pretty sure there's some elf fruit that we're gonna find. Bearded beast. Iron tells remains. Oh. Remains of the outlaw, bearded beast. Quest updated. Interesting. So, I guess there are still no good jobs for Ferelden's then. Hmm. Yeah. Guess so. Is that the bone pit? Like down there? Is that a part of it? Um, let me take this off and then I'll wait for it to show back up and then I'll put it back on because I don't think it's for all of the weapons currently. Um, is it working for Bianca? I don't know. Alright, very nice. Let's check and see if there are any bodies to loot. Looting the looters would make sense because they were just looting. There's a moth eaten scarf on one of them, so not very good. That leads to where we need to go, so we'll check out this area a little bit more. Uh, there's a pile of bones with two silver and 91 coppers right next to a s obelisk with the bone pit codex. Sire, I interviewed the surviving slave this morning. She was horror struck, but managed to tell me her chilling story. The overseer lined 17 slaves up, one behind the other, at the lip of the quarry. The second slave in the line was ordered to push the man in front, over the edge. The third slave pushed the second, the fourth, the third, and on it went. Workers in the quarry heard the screams and the crack of bone against the rock, and the survivors' anguished cries as the overseer's dragging wings Feast on the 16 helpless bodies laid upon the quarry's 17th in line, spared only because no one stood behind her. Sire, I recommend we stop this ugly practice. Effective as it may be in motivating workers, it's also bringing our mind notoriety as a death trap. Stories of the bone pit swirl throughout Kirkwall. The veil is thin here, and above that the pit is practically ready to sunder. We risk more than simple rebellion should the Overseer be allowed to continue. A letter from Prefix Santarius, 35 Ancient. Prefix Santarius. The output of the Maharan Quarry is up almost a third this season, and the Overseer has received a commendation from the Archon himself. You will speak of your findings to no one. A response from Magister Quillian, 35 Ancient. Okay, so this is a long time ago. And this must be like where the name the bone pit originally surfaced. Man, but I can I can only imagine the veil being practically non-existent here if you're just throwing slaves off the side of it. Like heavens. Freaking to venter. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, there's a barrel. With a moth eaten a moth eaten scarf and a health potion. Or like a little campfire with some bed rolls and everything. There's another pile of bones with an onyx fragment. Uh we'll head down the valley first. Oh, it's not down the valley, there's just a little a little a little, lip, a little lip thing. We'll turn around and then we'll go up following the railroad tracks. Taking the middle path first. 
we see the Enigma of Kirkwall. It is as we thought. The quarries of Kirkwall were found under the city was sacked by the Imperium and after they started constructing the city. The Imperium found the mineral well, not the indigenous people. The histories give conflicting accounts on who lived here before the Imperium. Some say the Alamari. Some say the the Defads. We do not no, it was a barbarian people who had little need of the material in the hills. So the, so why did the Imperium come here in such force? It is hard to disprove Brother Mikkel's theory that the natural harbor would be important for their armies, but magisters ruled, not common men. What barrier would be a simple sea post to them? The wars with the Alamari wouldn't start until centuries later. Each clue we find only leads to more questions, but we will not give up. Underneath the pile of small boulders, carved with curious markings and signed, the Band of Three. Interesting. Right next to that is some elf root for the supplier achievement. And then at the end of it is a rubble with an opal fragment. With all of that explored, we can turn around and then head to the upper path. The upper path is kind of split, so we'll check the left side first. And there's like a little campfire with a crate shimmering in the distance with robes in it. We will take those. And then heading back down, we can head to the other path. And there is nothing here. And that's alright. Alright, now that we've thoroughly explored the area, we can head back down. And then into the mine proper. Oh. Oh, I missed something. On our way back, there's a little book overturned about Novara. The fourth time I attempted to cross the border into Novara from Orlais, and was turned back by chevaliers, I decided to take the more roundabout path, a ship back to Ferelden, and then another to Navarra. The outcome was more than worth the trouble. The whole country is filled with artistry, from the statues of heroes that litter the streets, is even the meanest villages, to the glittering golden college of magi in Cumberland. Perhaps nowhere is more astonishing than the vast necropolis outside Navarre City. Unlike most other followers of Andraste, the Navarians do not burn their dead. Instead, they carefully preserve the bodies and seal them in elaborate tombs. Some of the wealthiest Navarians began constructing their own tombs while quite young, and these become incredible palaces complete with gardens, bathhouses, and ballrooms, utterly silent, kept only for the dead. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Chantry Scholar, our brother Genitivi. Um, I remember, um, when I first, so, I didn't play, I haven't played Dragon Age 2 until right now. Before that, there's a person that you meet, a companion, I won't go into too much detail, that you meet in Dragon Age Inquisition, and she is from Navarra, and she talks about, like, how they deal with their dead and everything, and that just made me ten times more interested in going to Navarra, because I just wanted to see something like that, like, the necropolis, that just sound it just sounds so interesting. I just want to be able to experience it, even if I can't go there in real life, because it's not a real place, but being able to see it in a video game, seems pretty cool because it's just it's kind of like like pharaoh like egyptian like you're building your own tomb and everything but the with more decadence like orlay so can you just imagine like the winter palace but it's just no necropolis it's just a tomb yeah that's that's kind of what i'm picturing and i want to know if that's correct or not all right but getting that we will move on Oh, let me get my pipe back up. I'm pretty sure that's it. I say for the 15th time, hugging the wall as closely as possible. Generations of slaves died in that mine. 
I can still feel their cries for justice. Dear heavens, Anders, please. All right, there's a barrel by the entrance to the mine with a woven bracelet and a health potion in it. That is like the third, I'm pretty sure, health pulse we found, health potion we found before entering this mine. So that may mean something, and I'm quite scared. Get your party? Yes, please. Oh. Oh, great. Dragon rings. Great, great, great. Oh my gosh. Nope, that that probably won't have Oh great, more of coming down the steps. Of course. Alright, loot everything. Drag lanes, they have money. Nine silver, 97 coppers. Okay, so now that we know, and now that you probably know if you haven't stepped foot in here, make sure you have a rune of frost and some frost magic. I don't think between Anders and I, we have any frost magic except for my stupid cold grasp. And that's the only frost magic that I have. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a staff called the Staff of Primal Order. Um, elemental weapons could probably help. Okay, so I guess there's gonna be a bit of footwork going on around here. I'm gonna try and explore as much as I can in a precise order. So we took a right, and we're exploring the right path from the door. There was a crate, it had some stuff in it. I forgot to look at it. Oh, it's all dragonlings. Oh, this is why the bone pit is dangerous, because there's just... Oh my gosh. It like affected me, but it didn't affect me because you didn't get knocked down. And that's the wild thing. Alright. Some money. Uh, there's some rubble by the steps with a helm of victory, an opal fragment, three silver and nine coppers. There's a little path, but it doesn't really lead to anywhere. So we're turning back, make sure we picked everything. At the end of this platform, there's a sack with a raven feather in it. And then we can kind of look over the side. Let's see, there's a ray of light coming from somewhere, but there it is. All right, we can head up the steps. At what cost? He had some money. There's a barrel in a tiny little corridor with a moldy rag doll in it. We'll take that with us. And then we'll continue to explore. I feel like we're going towards the exit, so if anything I'm moving around. This is a dangerous spot to be. I couldn't see myself for a very long time. Okay, so we are heading towards the exit. 
and there was a little bit up there. Um, Alright, remembering this spot, I'm gonna go back down, I'm gonna explore. I don't want to go directly to the exit, because my brain will be like, full speed ahead! And there's just a random dragon lane back here. Do you have anything? No? It's kind of sad. Alright, heading back down the steps. Passing the entrance to the bone pit. Explore this room. There is a pile of bones with six so with six silver, two copper. There's refined lyrium not too far from it for the supplier achievement. Kind of giving this place a little once over. There's a pile of rubble with a cracked rose diamond and an opal fragment. It looks like it's supposed to loop, but it it's not doing that right now. I don't know where it's supposed to loop to. But there's that platform that we were just on. Kind of look around down here. Make sure we have everything. We can head back to where we were before we turned around. Alright, there's a sack. With Eustace's Pommel in it, which updates a quest called Eustace's Pommel. We can head up the steps, where there are more dragonlings, but it doesn't seem they see us. There's Deep Mushroom on the middle platform before we head up the steps to go fight the rest of the dragonlings. No, it appears just to be one dragon line. Alright, but- oh, no, 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 no. Apparently there's another one, they're just kind of nearsighted. Very nice. Okay, checking out this platform again. I'm pretty sure I picked up everything, so the elf root, the refined lyrium, and the deep mushroom. I'm pretty sure that's all you can get from this place. But I will still keep my eye out because you never know. There's a pile of rubble with onyx fragment and the gallo slave finger cups. We'll take those with us. And then following the road. Oop, hello. I sent Rusty, you came along. Them dragons would have sniffed me out for certain. Slow down. Tell me what happened here. I'll tell you what I can, but be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Where did the dragons come from? We was mining a new tunnel when the wall collapsed, and dragons came through. There was a bloody slaughter. Scared out of my wits. I ran like my ass was on fire. It probably was. Only I went the wrong way. Ended up trapped here. Did anyone else manage to escape? Some of my fellows ran for the surface. I hope they made it. You should get out of here. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. Ah. I'd wondered if the dragons left their nest unguarded. Thanks, Anders. Alright, updating the quest for Bone Pit. That man was the only survivor of a huge dragon attack. He ran along the wrong way. Thankfully, we were able to clear the path so now he can escape. But huge dragon kind of makes me think that there's a mature, a mature kind of high dragon in here. <laughs> I'm gonna save. I suggest at this point you save as well. For the simple fact that there is a bug while loading into the room where you would find the mature dragon. Alright, so looking around, this pile of bones with 5 silver, 55 copper, and a health potion. Oh, there's a tiny little room with a crate, and the amulet, and another pair of Gallo Slave Finger Cups.
I'm just kind of still exploring. There's nothing over here in this little inlet. So we will head back. Okay, one, well, this place is pretty. <laughs> just admiring the scenery real quick before we face uncertain doom. We can head to the Bone Pit Ledge. Yep, there we go. Oof. Why can I not use Crushing Prison? Will it not work? Is that why you won't let me use it? I guess that's why. Um, I don't think this is gonna do much to it because it's a dragon. So, you know what? We're gonna try anyway. I'm just keeping an eye on Aveline's health. Ow. Okay, three level ups. That's very nice. We killed a dragon. Very nice, guys. High fives all around. Rounds at the hangman are on me. Alright, so the dragon had 19 silver and 76 copper. Dragon's fang, swarm, a bow. The free marcher's thunder, which are some boots. Belt of the chastened, and a health potion. Sometimes you can... Alright, so if the fight's not too bad for you you can probably try and do it again sometimes the dragon will drop um one to two sovereign but for the sake of i just kind of want to get out of here i may come back and fight the dragon on my own depending on what we do later these look so familiar very weird very funky funky in the bad way not in the good way in any case, I don't think there's anything else here, so we can leave the air up. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. There's a pile of rubble by the door. Four silver, one copper, raven feather, and another helm of victory. Uh, we can't get over to that box, but it doesn't seem to be sparkling, so I think... I think we're good to go. We can leave the area and head back. To Hubert. Probably gonna be like, right, what's all this then? I'm like, I'm freaking out. Hubert. There were dragons. Of course. It was home. I would never have left willingly. But I'm not going to be my father and spend my life trying to live a memory. I didn't think I'd give it a second thought once I was gone. I mean, what did Ferelden ever do for me? But I do. I think about it. There's something here that just doesn't feel right. You mean how mages are treated? No. I think there's not enough dog shit. Oh, wow. Ferelden's in their dogs. All right, we'll talk I to Hubert. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. I'm sorry. Back the pedal. Put, put this car in reverse and let's just run that through again. He said he thought they were extinct. Why does he think this is called the Dragon Age? There's been a huge resurgence in dragons. A high dragon flew over where the divine was, and that's why she named this the Dragon Age. Uh, originally, I think this was supposed to be called the Sun Age. This man, I don't know what he's doing, but he's obviously not paying attention. I got all the dragons. Should be safe enough for now. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? 
I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? Seems like the miners could use protection. And an advocate. So, to our first order of business. We replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there. But it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. All right, we got three sovereign and some friendship from Abilene, and now we have a new quest called Get Back to Work. And everyone has a level up now, so we'll deal with that real quick. All right. Check out our journal. Let's finish the bone pit kind of storyline. So what do we have to do? We have to go to Low Town. They can be found by day in Low Town. Alright, if anything, I'm going to talk to dude's lady's husband, Gislaine. We'll talk to Gislaine. I think he's somewhere close. Is is that him up there? Is this Gislaine? You, you there. You look can you help me? Well, good. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh, I have been waiting for someone to say that. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. The guards disagree. They are more disagreeable than my wife. Maybe your friend is more sensible. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well... I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Nanette keeps the company of other men. Huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> Well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. You don't care that Ninette might be hurt or dead? You sicken me. You have never lived with her. Hmm? It wasn't always like this. We were in love once. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores. Until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies, hmm? her favorite. No, talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. Alright, one, I'm not promising to bring her home. I'm not gonna do that, because I wouldn't want to, if anything. I'll bring back a note, no and a, a drawing sketch, maybe, stating that this is Nanette, and she does not wish to be found. But she's okay, so you can just tell her family that. 
but she's not coming back. And that would be fine with me. Um, alright, we're not going to do that. We need to go to the Viking Cape to turn and use its pommel. But... All right, yeah, we need to head to Low Town. Also, if you're going to accept that quest, make sure you don't have Isabella in your party. Nope, and I ended up in the red light district anyway. Wow, thanks, Brain. I just want to find out how to get out of here. Nope, no, no, that didn't help. So I guess back where I was, back where I was and then out the door, that's where I should have, that's what I should have done. Back where I was and then down the steps. No loitering. Alright, I'll mark it and we will keep moving. Gee, all right. Let's head to Low Town. The poor. Oh, hey, it's that guy from the bone pit. That was that survived. Hey, this one that rescued me from them dragons, a fellow for Elden, no less. Oh, eyes on her face, you lush. A thousand thanks for saving Jansen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant half of the South Reach. Yeah? My eggplant supplied half the bastards in South Reach. <laughs> oh. You're a real hero. Now what brings you here? I killed the dragons. It's safe to return to work. What if there's more dragons later? Or something worse like, uh, bigger dragons? I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. Would you go back for twice your previous salary? Wow. Well, I... I trust these teas, Chanson. Take it. We can drown our sorrows every night. And not with his dark town swill, either. Back to work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. I don't even know what they're getting paid. Oh, I'll be back. Don't you worry. Is that him? I, I'm guessing it's him. If it's not, then that was pure ominous. Of three children. I thought he just said I've been killed before, and I'm like, whoa. 
That's wild, actually. Alright, but we can head back to Hubert in Hightown. The miners agreed to return to work, but I had to double their wages. What? That is coin out of both our pockets! Perhaps the miners will work harder now we're paying them enough to survive. Throw scraps to a dog, and you encourage him to beg for more. I run a business, not a kennel. The business part is debatable. Mm -hmm. I will excuse you this once. You are new to this. In the future, let me handle the coin. You handle the danger. <laughs> so, if you give them a pay raise and then choose the humorous option, then you'll get plus five from Varric, sir. Do you need something? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Um, I guess we were just doing the bone pit for today because we are currently out of time. I'm still recovering from being sick, so I don't want to overdo it or anything. So I guess we'll leave it here for today, and then next time we'll pick up and do Unbidden Rescue. Um... Maybe see about finding Nanette and not bringing her back to her husband. Just, just finding Nanette. So, yeah. Until next time.